My name is uh, Konstantinos Lazaridis. I'm a professor of medicine and the associate director of the Center for Individualized Medicine uh, at the Mayo Clinic. This paper is about the outcome of holoxome sequencing for diagnostic odyssey cases of an individualized medicine clinic, the Mayo Clinic experience. Uh, in uh, 2012, we developed the Individualized Medicine Clinic in uh, an effort to bring novel uh, technologies, uh, specifically next generation sequencing, uh, to patient care. One of the services uh, that uh, started at the time and has been active since then, it was about using this methodology, uh, specifically whole exome sequencing, to understand um, the genetic origin uh, uh, of disease in patients who we call uh, being on a diagnostic odyssey. So those are individuals that they have uh, usually a rare disease of genetic origin uh, who have been seen in many practices, have, b have been assessed for single gene disorders but then have been remained undiagnosed. And this clinic, in this particular um, uh, service that we offer to those individuals was about using novel methodologies called whole exome sequencing where we study now the entire human exome and find whether some of those have been uh, affected in a way that can explain the disease. We saw about 82 patients and we ended up assessing 51 of those using these methodologies. We found that uh, in about 29% of these cases we were able to make uh, a final diagnosis. By doing so, this particular clinic that we have developed uh, focuses on a multidisciplinary approach. And so uh, we have what we call a genomic odyssey board. My name is Matthew Ferber. I am a PhD clinical molecular geneticist in the Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology here at the Mayo Clinic. I am the co-director of the Clinical Genome Sequencing Laboratory here, where we do a lot of the DNA genome and exome sequencing that help support this paper that we're discussing today. What makes our work uh, unique within this paper is really Mayo's team approach to solving these undiagnosed diseases. We have a really broad-based team uh, ranging from the uh, medical geneticists, the genetic counselors, to the laboratorians like myself, the computer scientists or bioinformaticians, and then the variant interpretation specialists who are all working together in order to extract maximal knowledge out of whole exome sequencing experiments, um, trying to end the diagnostic odyssey for these patients and actually provide them with meaningful clinical information. And now we're able to uh, take a new look at that patient information through whole exome sequencing. And instead of trying to design a, a rational test where we will order and sequence one gene that fits one specific phenotype, we're able to take a much broader approach and sequence all of their genes. And then by sequencing their parents along with them, we're able to do comparative analysis to say, what might be unique within the sick patient that is either absent um, in the parents or new and novel within that patient. As you go through these types of experiments, you are really faced with thousands of variants in each of the patients. And without having some of the additional family history information and the additional family genomic sequencing information, it can be quite difficult to really pull that needle out of the haystack. Another real benefit to offering the testing completely inside uh, the Mayo Clinic is our ability to go further. My colleague, Dr. Eric Klee, has really built a wonderful program around unsolved and undiagnosed whole exome sequencing cases. I'm Dr. Eric Klee, a bioinformatician at the Mayo Clinic and a member of the uh, Individualized Medicine team that looks at diagnostic odysseys. My role within the team is actually twofold. I've helped to architect the informatics that directs how we analyze the data, that enables our physicians to interpret the results in these complex cases, as well as to direct a team that looks at cases that are not solved. We know that this testing is very complex, 
And while we've successfully diagnosed between 25 and 30 percent of the patients that we look at, there's still a large component of patients that don't have a resolved answer. So the team I, adre I direct looks at those patients, dives deeper into the data than you can within the context of a clinical test, and tries to identify some additional avenues or hypothesis that we can follow up with further investigation. Through this process, we hope to improve our diagnostic hit rate and find resolution for many of the patients that previously have ended up as undiagnosed. The process includes things like looking at additional omics profiling above whole, whole exome sequencing, as well as taking variants of uncertain significance into the laboratory to test whether or not we can resolve the functional impact of those variants to understand whether or not they really are causing the patient's condition. Through these processes, we hope that we can improve the overall diagnostic yield for our patients at Mayo and provide a competitive advantage for Mayo in the generalized marketplace. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.